Hey, peoples, folks, girls, boys, dogs, cats, things of all ages. I'm back, baby. Here we go. We're, we're just... Uh, I'm fucking, the, I'm new husband, the new husband is in the house tonight. I'm a, I'm a fucking married man now, guys. So that means uh, <laughs> dinner's at five and I'm going to bed at six. Uh, so... <laughs> Why are you are. not in bed? Why are you not in bed, Evan? <laughs> Here we are. Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, thank you, Philippe, for holding the fort down while I was gone. That was much appreciated. And no I hope problem. you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed his video as much as I did. I watched it uh, just before <laughs> getting on this, and uh, it, I also include. You gotta go and listen to the bonus episode that is out on our Bandcamp. Um, for us audio people, much like myself, I'm not so much of a visual guy. I like to listen to audio. Um, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Uh, Thank you. I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed you watching Cerebral. That was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what I. Was like, I, was, I was like, I was like, the fuck, the voice <laughs> is so horrible. <laughs> so um, I'll just tell you because I know you you struggled with the vocals or stuff, but that. Is a, is a term I've heard a little bit with talking to a few people. We call it like toilet bowl vocals. Like there's something about people like me who like brutal death metal grotesque. Like yeah. I want it to sound like you fucking went into the 7-Eleven bathroom, stuck your head in the toilet bowl and just fucking screamed into the water and made bubbles. Like I want to <laughs> make it fucking disgusting. And yeah. uh, you know, cerebral rot, great job at it. They do a fucking, they yeah, do a fucking great. In album, they're fucking good, but that's not a band I will listen to a lot. But I've listened to Fuming Mouth. It was fucking epic. Fuming and Mouth is up and coming. I think they're going to be one of the bigger bands. And I mean, I think they can get to uh, Ingested. I think oh, they yeah. can get there. And I think Cytot they can get to like Ingested level. Cytotoxin was fucking good too. Yeah. Yeah, cytotoxin. I, you know, I'll tell you guys right now, we're going to have our top 10 coming out pretty soon. Um, we haven't recorded it yet, uh, but cytotoxin did not make my list. I'm sorry. Uh, they're honorable mentions, but they did not make it. Uh, they make it for me. They it made, make me, it, it made but me sad. It made me sad to keep them off, but I had to. They, they make it for me, but you will know uh, next week. Uh, at what place? But yeah, uh, that next, just that just like week? that. Uh, what are uh, what are our names? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm Evan, <laughs> and I'm Phil. The test for the intimates. Thanks for tuning in. It was a, a, a bit of long introduction. <laughs> Glad you stuck with it. <laughs> anyway, I just I got back from my honeymoon and stuff, and I gotta tell you, it was fine. It was great, but I'm glad to be home. I'm glad to be. Uh, back in front of the camera with my buddy phil and you know happy to uh you know be doing some metal related stuff uh oh, where i, I was where i was was not very metal friendly so <laughs> i'm happy <laughs> to be back in a place where it's cold and everybody hates everything so it's fu it's funny you say that because baroness come from savannah georgia so i'm like Yeah, not met all the fuck. <laughs> yeah yeah no well you would understand if you were there you know it's just <laughs> It's, you know, a lot of sunshine, rainbows, and Jesus. Oh, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> God, God gave us the sound. So, yeah, I abused the fuck out of my terrible southern accent. <laughs> no laughs. No laughs. No one else thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious, but no one else thought it was funny. So, um, but, yeah, uh, we'll start off with our beers. That's another thing I fucking miss. Good beer. Um I won't get into it. Me and Phil talked about it before. I ain't gonna fucking, you know, bash anybody. I'm just gonna <laughs> tell you, um, if you know, snow. If you got snow where you live, or it gets cold, you, then you know. I beer is a beer I've had before. My beer fridge is pretty empty. It's the uh, the Ibex. It's a uh, New England uh, IPA. It's a series uh, by Canned Heat uh, here in Fall River, uh, right down the way, kid. So that's perfect. So me, so I have 
I, I have something special a little bit because uh, what I tried to do with my uh, with my beers is like I have uh, <coughs> some beers that I drink on Friday and Saturday and it's like uh, cheap beers. But like for me, it's like Unibrew, which is like uh, craft beer, but a little bit cheap. Like it's not that it's not that expensive. But uh, with the podcast and everything, I'm like, oh, let's go with some more decent beer. And I got this black lager called Une Blonde pour Lovecraft, a blonde for Lovecraft. It's a black lager. They are saying blonde, but because Lovecraft is soul is black, <laughs> he's got a dark soul and a dark lit literature. But <laughs> so it's a black lager. So let's open it. And uh, it's from Trou du Diable, which is like a fucking great company in Quebec. Uh, it's from Shawinigan. And the Trou du Diable, it's like uh, they signed a contract with Molson uh, to have uh, their beer uh, distributing some distribution like in um, like in supermarket and everything. So they got fucking great beers and you can have it like everywhere. <laughs> so that's fucking good. So I won't do like last time with my left-handed pour. Let's go with right yeah, hand. The, the left-handed pour. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck, left-handed. I'm not left-handed. <laughs> so a little black lager with a great color. But yeah, so cheers, my friend. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit, that's fucking good. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, yeah mine is uh, still very juicy. I got to tell you, from the first time I had it to now, um, this one's been sitting in the fridge for a little while. It's aged beautifully. Um, still very citrus heavy. Uh, but hoppy and a nice uh, juice. You get a nice little aftertaste. It's pretty. It's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty it, good. It's, I actually think I prefer it aged yeah. like this. I think it's been now with three weeks, something like that. That's maybe perfect. even more. Oh uh, shit! Yeah. It's been like three weeks, mine, that I have it this beer, and I have a lot more. But because yeah. I don't drink like a lot uh, these days. So I have it like for a Christmas or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so let's begin with the subject, shall we? The subject at hand. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so uh, today we're, we're going to shit all over you guys. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But um, we are. Uh! Um, we're going <laughs> to uh, talk about unpopular opinions or even popular opinions, uh, mostly unpopular stuff that, uh, you know, whether it's related to a band, scene, metal, music, you, me, grandma, who the fuck knows. But we're going to kind of play around with it. We got a couple of topics, a couple of things that really grind the gears. And um, we'll discuss. We'll oh, discuss. Yeah. You guys can discuss along with us, but uh, we won't hear you. Because uh, you're not actually here. You're just there by yourself. But uh, if you want to discuss it with us, please. Comments are always welcomed uh, down below or even an email. We'll take emails. Me and Phil, we both look at the emails. We don't We're, get many emails. We take letters by uh, by mail, too. Yeah, so, if, you, if you guys want to <laughs> mail, send Phil an actual carrier pigeon. That would be sweet. <laughs> we'll feature it on the podcast. The pigeon and the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your pigeon is dressed for the attire. Yes. You know? Yes, always, always. You have to take care of the pigeon, man. <laughs> I think I said attire. I meant occasion. Your pigeon must be dressed with proper attire for the occasion. All right, there we go. I'm slowly getting back into it. Um, slowly but surely. <laughs> slowly but surely. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So uh, I've done a, a ton of talking already, Phil. You wanna you wanna start us off with our first one, boy? Yeah, why not? Why not? So uh, me, my first unpopular opinion. It's a bit okay. Let's go with the genre. And I thought about it, and a lot of I, maybe we will have. I will have a lot of hate for that. 
but it's my opinion and maybe it's some popular black metal it's not that rich and the styles the does not make the uh, the genre rich or developed let me explain you have some subgenre like atmospheric black metal uh, black and death black and roll and a lot of other subgenre that are developing the genre very well because they're mixing and they are doing something else with the genre it's like it's a subgenre of black metal right but you have some some genre that are just talking about lyrics it just like it defines the subgenre by the lyrics like um Dep uh, DSBM, Depressive Suicidal Black Metal, uh, NSBM, uh, the right wing black metal, if we BDSM. can say so. Uh, yeah, the BDSM too. <laughs> 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 like, what, what, what is it? Is the black, um, devilish sexual metal? <laughs> How black is it? <laughs> How black is it? It's like Mike. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, so yeah, what uh, what I was saying is like a lot of people are saying black metal is rich. I don't think so, to be honest. Like for each genre, most of it, it's the same pattern. It's not like death metal where you you can have like some technical death metal that is. Um, a little, a little bit more melodic, but brutal. You have some melodic death metal. You have some death metal old school. You have some progressive that are playing with the genre very well. But black metal, I like, maybe I'm wrong, but for me, it's not the genre that is that rich. Like a lot of people are, are just saying, oh, it's rich. You have like 52 subgenre of black metal, but for me, I just count like 10, 10 subgenre yeah. or something. Yeah, I think that, um, well, the thing is, is like, there's some fucking subgenres for everything now. So it's like, you know, what do you want to get into? You know, so uh, I will say this. I think that um, a lot of stuff that's coming out has more black metal influence than I think we realize. Yeah. And uh, because, you know, there's just so many good, there, there were really some good ones back in the day. And I think that uh, for some reason, it, it, it's, it's kind of like resurging. Uh, you talked about the black and death. Um, you talked about uh, ah, fucking the other kind of forms there. But really, like the hard, like really that uh, the black metal with a hardcore sound has really taken hold yeah. in a lot of uh, newer bands that are coming up. Um, you could almost pretty much say that it, it's it's a fusion between all three, between Black Death, Hardcore. You can yeah. kind of talk about all three being enveloped in that. I don't really want to, I don't really know what you would call it for a subgenre. Um, but I do think that as far as Black Metal being rich, I always base uh, a genre like that uh, as far as like the influential bands and what they really what like what they were really about so of course you talk about death metal you had bands like obviously death you had uh, obituary cannibal corpse um mm -hmm. these bands kind of highlighted everything going forward even more the like morbid angel um you know it, really these were the these were the pinnacle bands and they kind of like highlighted a lot of different things and they had some different elements to them uh, that made them strong. Um, but when you talk about black metal, they really were more or less a lot of the same bands. Yeah. Um, there were big bands for sure, you know, Emperor and um, whatnot, but... Marduk. Marduk, Marduk. yeah. Um, or even like I was talking about depressive suicidal black metal and you got Shining. Uh, the Shining from Sweden, not The Shining from Norway. It's like it's yeah. two different band, but Shining Sweden. It's like uh, at first when when uh well on Metal Archives I think they are just black metal, but they are talking about depress depression and suicide. So a lot of people are linking that band to DSBM, which is uh, it's I think not it's wrong, but it's not right. It, I think it's, it's like, a stretch. 
like it's a stretch but like this band now they are doing mm. black metal but there's some change in the sound there's some progressive element there's some avant-garde elements in it and they're just they're not just making black metal anymore it's like it's like emperor or if we take another black metal example uh, enslaved yeah enslaved was black metal at first but then it switched for a more progressive sound which is very cool yeah you always have to remember um This is probably going to be what I talk about next, but we'll get into that. But um, you always have to remember, you, you define your sound uh, basically by, you know, your discography, what you've listened to, what you like, and, and what you're trying to achieve. Um, but as far as, like, somebody trying to pin a band down, um, you know, if you have to really fucking stretch it out and come up with some fucking stupid subgenre to really include them in yeah. death or black then they, they're they're they deserve to be on their own island yeah uh, i i think i mean i'll get into it later you know we'll, we'll we'll wrap up this one first but 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 yeah so um to conclude with the black metal like i'm saying it's not rich yeah there's some influential band yes a lot of people a lot of bands are influenced By black metal, like you take the deathcore scene, the new deathcore scene, it's more influenced black metal. Like you take Carnifex, you take uh, Lorna Shore, you take a lot of those bands, they are more influenced black metal. There is some influence, but as a genre and just defined by the subgenre, it's not that rich. <laughs> In terms of genre of music, it's not that rich for me. If you are wrong, if you think I'm wrong, uh, put it in the comments and say why. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! That was good. I But bring don't, the ice. Don't cream. even just say. Don't even just say it's your opinion. Fucking double down on that shit. You tell them they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're fucking wrong. <laughs> you're fucking wrong because <laughs> how of... you live. How you live your life is shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your life is not a subgenre, so fuck off. <laughs> All right, so that brings me into my next, <laughs> which is gonna be great. I know <laughs> if, if we had anything, I mean, we've had some. What I felt like, I, not enough people listen, but I feel like there's gonna be a day where, you know, I'm gonna look at my, you know, I'll be like fucking 45 or something, and I'll look at myself on metal injection or whatever becomes of it, and they'll be like, these fucking assholes talked about this shit and uh you know oh they hate metallica and we're gonna be like a fucking you know they're gonna pull our shit from this point and then you know back in like 20 40 fucking something they're gonna be like wow these guys are dumb as fuck um <laughs> this might be one of those things they pull out um if if you come up to me and i go i see your band shirt and i go hey it's a cool band what are they And you start with, well, they're a mixture of deathcore, but mostly black influence with a side of melancholy. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking scream bloody murder <laughs> in your face. <laughs> I'm going. I am going to lose my fucking mind because it just what are they? Are they black metal? Are they death metal? Are they thrash? Are they power? Just keep it simple. Keep it fucking simple. If we have to keep coming up with these stupid fucking genres to explain bands, uh, the world. I'm. I don't know. I'm gonna fucking die. Well, but, I honestly, I understand you, but. I understand why you are saying that, but just say they are like deathcore with black metal. If the sounds, it's always like that. Say that, but it's if it's a mixture, a, a mix of multiple subgenres. Just call it progressive or avant-garde. Yeah, see, just call it that. I don't want to call it just progressive. Like just. 
get to the like can we just get to the point with mm. some of these bands i don't need to fucking know that you know everything that you know spinoff listened to back in sweden to come up with the band he's in like i yeah. you know you don't have to include all the fucking influences what is it mostly it should pretty much be two things yes yeah, yeah like what, if you if you're in a band you 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 pretty much understand that like your sound you pretty much achieve two main things, mm. right? Can yeah. we agree on that? Yeah, yeah, we agree. You can have like, a bunch of other stuff, but pretty much there's two main things. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I completely agree. Like, you take example, uh, let's take... One second. You take uh, Devin, Townsend, Devin Townsend, for example. <laughs> Devin Townsend, Perfect. his main <laughs> genre is simple. Progressive, new age. That's it. But there is some influence. But wh what is the two main genres they do? New Age and, pro and Progressive Metal. That's it. That's all. That's the main, the main genres that he's doing right now. But he did Death Metal. He did Industrial. He did a lot. And he, he always do those genres sometimes. But the main, Progressive, New Age. That's it. That's it. That's, that's all. It. That's it. That's all. That's Go it. fuck ass. <laughs> I don't need. I don't need a fucking short story for you to explain to me what your band is, or, or what what you think they are. You know, this is the other thing I've always thought was super fucking funny is that uh, fans like us. We we are we are fans. But yeah, you know, we we love we love to just fucking take things. Like, have an artist, you know, put out some fucking sick shit and just go, mm, it's death metal. And then just have some fucking dude in Albuquerque, New Mexico, listen to it and go, oh my god, dude, elements of flat, thrash, and there's fucking, uh, did you see the symbol hearings? Uh, it sounds just like uh, this one band I heard, which was a little more power mixed with BDSM, black metal. <laughs> it was amazing. Like, Holy I don't shit. need, dude. I don't need fucking all that. You know, mm. it, for for most part, it's pretty fucking straightforward. You know, yeah, it sounds cooler. You know, then you know you could probably talk a little bit about like maybe a certain song or something, or like maybe you know part of a little band's makeup. But for God's sakes, dude, can we just fucking cool it with uh, having mm. to label a band down to the fucking little? influences to the point where like the guy's strings are on the fucking like you're, you're part of like well this guy uses these strings on this guitar when he's playing this song and so i classify him as folk so you know like i'm sick of that shit dude i'm well, fucking sick of it i i actually it happened to me on my honeymoon so you know a genre like I, like i say every time a genre is defined by the music if you can't Uh, define the music well just stop defining it yeah uh, just, just stop trying just, just say stop trying really sick. <laughs> yeah yeah like there's some bands like that that i don't understand like igor with three r at the end yeah i don't know what is the genre but i love it like the, in <laughs> fact there's no there's no genre like it's a mix of genre but Yeah, it's avant garde. Let's say that it's avant garde. Yeah, oh my <laughs> that's God. just that with him. So that's the genre of Igor, avant garde. That's it. That's all. Let's go on another the, another fire, shall we? Let's so, fire fucking gasoline on this shit. Let's do it. So let's go on genre, but it's it's not subgenre. Let's talk about rap and metal. So you know a oh, lot dude, of dude, you're gonna shit on Lip Biscuit now? No, We're no, I'm not talking. Metal. I'm not talking about <laughs> new metal. I'm talking about just rap and metal because a lot of people that goes in metal when they are young, that means like me or you, uh, like. Let's take me, for example. Uh, I was 12. I was listening to a lot of metal, but I wasn't listening to a lot of rap because I was a hater. Because a lot of people, a lot of kids uh, at my This school... This guy didn't hate it, bitch. Yeah, I was a hater of rap because I didn't like the genre. A lot of people in my school were listening to it and it was shit. You didn't like the people. 
Yeah, maybe I just didn't like the people. That's it. That's but, pretty much always the source of that's always yeah. the source of it in high school. You just didn't like the people. Yeah, that's it. But <laughs> everything you do is garbage, kid. <laughs> but yeah, so as I got older, I was more or I, I'm more open with rap. And then I got this thinking. What if rap and metal are more look alike than we think? So let, to let, lose you. Let, let's go on that path, okay? Let, let, let's lose ourselves with that so foggy think, path. You think rap and metal are pretty much the same? Uh, not the same like in the genre. The same in the story, the same like... Take rap, for example. Rap comes from hip-hop, right? Yeah. And metal is coming from rock. So, like, it's mainly rock. It's not only coming from blues or jazz. It's coming from rock mainly. So take these. It's like the two subgenre. The two genre are from another sub. Uh, another genre. So that's a lookalike point. That's one point. Let's go with that. We got our merch. We got like we have our own identity with metal. Rap got his own identity. Um, that's another check. Uh, th there is a lot of similarities between the two genre, and we don't understand it. That that's what I think. That's my unpopular opinion. There's some the, some similarities, and we don't understand it. Me, I'm trying. I'm trying to understand it because rap is not that bad. Yeah, you just have to uh, you, you just have to listen to a lot of rap just to define what you like. That's it. It's like metal. Like a rap fan will will want to try to listen to metal. Well, he will have some metal that he likes. He will have some. Uh, he will have some some metal that he don't likes. That's it. That's all. So what I'm trying to say here, it's like. Rap and metal are more look-alike than you think. Not look-alike, but have more similarities. I don't know what you think about that. But um, for me, it's like, it's clear as water. <laughs> uh, I think I think that's true. I think that can be said about other genres of music as well. Yeah. I think that rap and metal, when, if one thing they do share in similarities, it's that... Um, they're two extremes of the original genre yeah. that became their own. Yeah. You know, like they were basically like, you talk about rap, you talk about uh, trying to be, you know, faster, a faster lyricist, you try, you know, a faster vocalist, uh, you know, the uh, harder beats, uh, you're tougher. Generally you try to, you know, show that you're tougher. Yeah. Um, freestyling is like a big thing. On rap, uh, the the skills, you know, you're very admired for your uh, your actual uh, thinking on the spot, following beats, things like that. Um, same thing with metal. It gives you a lot of respect and, and you know, th things of that nature. But And, and same thing can be said in metal, you know, it, uh, heavier, louder, br more brutal, uh, the crazy, you know, you, you want to be as... You the know, shredder you want to be yeah. a fucking shredder you want to be as fast as possible as you know lyrically sound you want to be um in tune with your instrument i mean it's it's both like it's just i i find it so hard to kind of compare the two because in one hand you have one person yeah typically a rapper you you might have like You'll have your DJ. You'll probably have your own DJ. You'll probably have like your group, um, and uh, but typically, you know, a lot of the stuff you're doing is all you. I mean, I say typically, yeah. you know, ninety percent of it is pretty much ninety. You. You, br you bring you bring yourself to the table, and it's what you got. What's your skills? For me, it's but more like eighty percent to be honest. Because take that. Let's take uh, Post Malone for example. Like this dude is rap album. They are more made with some producers being hit, but not well, only are we one. Calling, now, are we calling that rap or are we calling that hip hop? Because yeah, post metal is uh, it's not a it's not a good example. Okay, Denzel Curry. I don't know if you know him. I know, I know Denzel. Denzel Curry. 
this guy got a lot of producer behind him. So, like, do we say it's only him? Like, the producer are making the music. They're making the music. So, and So, I mean, the thing is, is like... It's like saying a band, a metal band, uh, the only person that is important is the singer because he sings and the band is the producer or it's just like not that important. Like, that's dumb. It, no. I, yeah, your producers, your producers important, but like your producers can only your producer can only do so much. Uh, here's an easy one: take uh, D12, yeah. Eminem's Eminem's group there. You know, early uh, a you know late '80s, early '90s, or whatever during the '80s, or I can't even fucking remember. Uh, I think it's early '90s or some shit. But you know, the group was comprised of about. Eh, 10, 12 guys or some shit like that. I can't even fucking remember uh, because I was young when I first fucking heard it. But it's pretty much like they had a beat and then they all got their own fucking raps into it. That's yeah. pretty much what I look at and when I think, you know, as a rapper. A lot of stuff now is pretty much hip hop, most of it, um, because, you, you know, th that's a whole other conversation about, like, trying to be popular and hit trends and mm. do things like that. Um You know, you want to go with a modern rapper, maybe uh, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Kendrick Lamar is probably, you know, pretty close to, you know, old school, uh, how it probably would have been. Um, but it's also tough because, I mean, you're, you're talking about one guy to a band, you know, between, I mean, now you can have bands of one guy, two, three, four, five, fucking nine. Um, Take black you know, metal, for example. Out, yeah, there's Take different black elements. Take yeah. black metal, for example, the, it's mainly one-man bands. Like, you take Burzum, you take a lot of other one-man bands. It's mostly black metal. <laughs> mostly, not not only, mostly. I uh, thought it's yeah. Doom. Yeah, Doom. You, what, you a one man, what a one-man Doom metal bands out there. Um, Gargrind. Uh, the only thing that I think, uh, the only band that I think is Putrid Pile. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> bad. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's what that's what I was thinking. Like, uh, guys, put in the comments what you think about that. But yeah, rap and metal are more have more similarities, share more similarities than we think. And I think if you are an open-minded person, you will try to listen to some rap. And maybe you will find something you like, maybe don't. Like me, I, I like Tupac, I like Ice-T, I like Biggie, I like Denzel. Denzel Curry is fucking good. And yeah, there's a lot of other rappers that, that I like, even if I listen to metal. You can listen to a lot of genre if you, even if you like metal mostly, you can listen to a lot of other genre. So what is your next opinion, my man? So... This is something that I really came to head this year when I was looking at, uh, you know, like um, Revolver Magazine and, uh, you know, like uh, some other places put out like their top 10s or top 20s or top fives or whatever the fuck of 2020. Mm. And um, I got to tell you, for those that don't think that metal has a mainstream, You're living under a rock, dude. Yeah. So what I mean by that is that metal itself is not mainstream. That's correct. Yeah. But metal as a genre has a mainstream. They yeah. have, they have basically like, I would call myself uh, the, my, the minority of mm. metal. I mean, still, I, I mean, I would probably say the same for you. We're probably in the minority. When yeah. you talk about metalheads, I don't think people truly understand sometimes what you talk about. Listen, if your favorite bands are, if you call yourself a metalhead and your favorite bands are, in, in this order, Metallica, Slayer, Lamb of God, Testament, fucking Deftones, um... You want to throw fucking uh, 
Oh God, who one am I thinking of? Anthrax. You want to throw those bands in there? Megadeth. Um, Megadeth. Uh, I mean, got Judas Priest. I mean, all great bands. All great bands. Yeah. But um, you're mainstream. Mm, you just course. kind of are. It's they're older. They're older bands. Besides Lamb, um, they're still around. It's hard for me to kind of even because I, I'm so, I'm kind of detached from a lot of this stuff. I mean, they some people call you know Five Finger Death Punch metal, so like that's in there. You know, um, uh, all that remains. Um, bands like that. You know what? You like them all. All the power to you, brother. But like. Yeah. You got to, you know, I, sometimes I find people that, you know, they, they're like, oh, you got to listen to this shit. And it's, it's like just some fucking metalcore garbage or, you know, it's like, you know, something from like the 80s. Mm. And um, I mean, listen, a lot of, a lot of that stuff's just mainstream. Metalcore is mainstream. No, yeah. it is. Even deathcore. Yeah, let, kind of just mainstream. It's just it's just like you know, plug and play, dude. They just fucking go. I mean, I mean, like it's fine. It's good. Let's I love def- it. Let's but, like, define. Let's define the word mainstream for some because mainstream is a, it's a vague word. Like it, it's a bit confusing because you got the mainstream like TV mainstream. Like you see that stuff on TV, like pop, rap, hip hop. It's that type of mis- of mainstream metal. It's not on that type yet. Maybe one day we'll have more m- metal music at TV. We don't know. Like maybe when we will have like 50 years old, maybe the metal will be more on TV. Who knows? Like maybe like the 80s where you got some metal, uh, like glam and some grunge on TV, like in 80s, 90s. But yeah, right now it's more the it, it's more a, there's more a pop dominance on TV. But yeah, so you got that type of mainstream, and you got like the mainstream internet, the internet mainstream, and metal is right here. You take Loudwire, Metal Injection, Metal Sucks, Revolver. Uh, guitar world for guitars and whatever you, you got a lot of mainstream there. there this is mainstream that's the type of mainstream that yeah you're talking about mostly yes exactly and this whole thing stems from i was watch i i was well on facebook for like five seconds and i was scrolled through and i saw that revolver came out with their top 20 and so I was making my top 10 for this year. So I was like, fuck it. I'll bite. Let's see what they got. And um, it was really bad. It was really fucking bad. It was almost terrible. There was maybe two bands on there that I agreed with. Um, and they were both in the wrong spot. Okay. Um, but they deserve to be on there. And uh, their number one, the number one for 2020 that they picked was Deftones Ohms, which fucking Why? sucks. It's, it's, I, I just, I, and it's like, dude, you know, Lamb of God was on there. It's like fucking number six or something. And it's like, do you guys even bother listening to the music or do you yeah. just look at who put it out and you're just like, oh yeah, that's just great. This is great. This is awesome. You know, Death Tug, White Pony, and then they're just like, whoop, throws it on there, dude. Like, fuck it. I, 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 I got news for you. If you think that that shit is like the best shit out there, then I, I can't have a conversation with you, brother. I, honestly, you know, I think sometimes the Revolver Top 20, and maybe I was shot something like over there. I think sometimes Revolver Top 20 are like Oscar. People are are paying them to have a, a to, to be on the top, so it's, it's that, that's so why stupid. I'm beginning to think like Oscars. It's well known for some corruption. Like I I don't have to say that that loud, but let's say it. They are known for uh, for being paid to have their names on the categories, and I think sometimes it's a bit like that with Revolver or other top twenty. Uh, of the year, sometimes it's more like that. And to be honest, I hate that. 
I hate just it, hate man. it. <laughs> I, fuck, I fucking, I fucking hate it. And like, it, it, you know, like I said, there was two bands on there that, you know, one of them was Gulch. Gulch was on their list. Wasn't high enough. Like some st- stupid bullshit like that. That, that <laughs> And like that album's really good. It should be fucking higher. Um, and then like the rest of it is just like diluted bullshit. And I don't know, dude. It, it's just like any other genre of music. You have your your tried and true, time tested bands that, of course, whatever they put out, they have the fans, they have the criteria, they have the discography. You know, doesn't matter if they straight up shit on your chest. They are gonna get their likes. They're gonna get their money. They're gonna get their you know their screen time. It's just. Like, I just can't do it, though. If it sucks, it sucks. If it's yeah. good, it's good. You call it for what it is. But there are too many bands out there. And this is what's tough, especially now, uh, you know, being in the days of streaming. There's just too many, you know, diamond in the rough bands that you can find out there. You know, if you just do a little bit of research and, you know, you might find that you find, you know, some different bands with a little bit different of an attitude, something that, you know, they really that you could really get into. You yeah. know, I think really what it comes down to is that, like, I am such a music, you know, or, like, a metal freak that, like, I almost and I almost get appalled by, like, people who, like, just, like, sit on their laurels and are just like, oh, I'm going to listen to this band 7,000 times a year. And, like, if that's what you want to do, dude, that's fine. But, like, just know that, like, you are not in the same realm that I am. Mm. It's almost yeah. insulting. It's almost like you don't, you know, you're lazy with how you listen to it. So, like, I'm not going to fucking tell you you're wrong, but, like, don't come into my corner and tell me that, like, you know, my shit's nowhere near the, you know, the tried and true, you know. Of course, don't don't tell me that the Swedish black metal band I found is not as good as, you know, Judas Preet's fucking second album. I mean, I'm going to tell you right there. Of course, dude. I mean, you know, one of them's a tried and true classic. And the other one is something I found the other day that was really catchy and I liked it. You know, so like, you know, of course, we're going to have that argument all day, every day. But like, just because you sit on it doesn't mean everyone else fucking has to. We all know it's good. You You know, fucking expand your horizons a little bit, guy. Yeah, like you, you don't have the... You don't have the absolute taste. Like the pay, I don't have the absolute taste. You don't have the absolute taste. Yeah. No one got the absolute taste. Like I like my shit. You got your shit. Everyone loves their shit. That's it. Like there's nothing else. <laughs> there's nothing else. There's a conversation to be had there. There's a conversation to be had there. And I don't mean to come off like, you know, I'm like I'm so fucking better than everybody else, no. but like it's not it's not no. about that. It's just about like you do you if that's you, if what I described earlier is you, you're just lazy. Like mm. get off, you know, fucking put that vinyl away and fucking go on Bandcamp and fucking type in your shit. Fucking find some other thrash band that can fucking you know do some other shit. You know, fucking like, support all these other guys too that that's are it. putting out some and sometimes better sometimes it's of fucking course. better you know so you know expand your horizon don't just fucking sit there and you know be a mainstream fucking bitch all right let, let's go another subject because i i think you are going a little bit <laughs> <laughs> get angry okay so i i think for me it will be the last and i think this one it will be polemic in a polemic state like okay we are a big family right like the family? metal community no metal community can be can be a family okay. honestly i don't believe that not too much let me we're, explain we're not, we're, you and i aren't brothers we're we wearing are br- the same shirt what do you we, mean we are brothers but are we like metal brothers like we are from the same community bro like you you take another uh, metal head in the street and you're like you are my brother <laughs> like no like me me you we are brothers because we know each other now it's been like what march april that we know each other 
Yeah. Like uh, we, we uh, Yeah, know. something like that. Something like that. let's say April. Let's say April. April. It's like, everything shut down in March, so probably April. Like probably April. Yeah. 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 April. A- April. April. So mm-hmm. yeah. We are brothers because we know each other since that day, since April. But I won't say that this guy in the street that w- is wearing like a uh, Archpire shirt is my brother. Like, I don't know that guy. He listens to that, to that band. I, that's cool, but you're not my brother. I don't know you. Like, and when we are saying like metal is a big family, like sometimes I'm like, dude, do you know the other people in this family? Do, do you know them? Like, maybe it's those, those who are just jerk that are just bitching about, like, obscure black metal or obscure subgenre. Like, <laughs> like if, if those people are jerk, I don't want me to be their brothers, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Yeah, yeah, but, like, and someone will say in the comments, oh, yeah, but family, it's like... Uh, you, you sometimes you don't, you, uh, you don't have to be like very brother brother or uh, with the other person. But yeah, it's a bit like family or some sort. Yeah, but for me, we are a community. Sometimes we got disagreement, we got agreement, but we are not a big family. We are the big community. For me, that's the big word. That's the best word to describe metal. Like rap, like rock, like jazz man, like other communities. We are a community. Sometimes there, there's some trolls, there's some haters. And sometimes there's some people like us that like metal. Mm-hmm. That's it. But we mm-hmm. are not a family. I'm not like your brother by metal blood or something. <laughs> metal blood link, bloodlines. Like I'm... I'm your friend. I can be a friend, but I'm not your brother. I'm yeah. a part of the same part of the community. And some people would be hurt with what I said, but more and more I'm more, I'm on the communities. More and more I watch some people that just hate each other. That just like don't like, oh, this guy likes metalcore, burn him! Like, no. We are I, I, I lead that charge, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but yes. But, but I, can, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, I, I will tell you this. If 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 I if you walk into a bar and you have a shirt that I like, uh, you're getting a beer. That's all. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> just it, so you know, you're getting it, It's not, you, you don't have to be brother, brother, like brother, brother, like know someone. If. If you like that guy that because he got a shirt that you like, you can just buy a beer for him and maybe talk to him. And like, if if I go in a bar, someone pays me a beer because I got this shirt, like maybe I would be, I would be more open to talk to him. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know how it's going to be. But I maybe won't be girl like... Maybe buys you a beer. She oh. Likes your shirt. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> But it's a bad beer. She buys you a Saison when you clearly were drinking stouts. Now I'm just going to tell you, listen, bitch. I don't, you're rubbing the... Holy <laughs> shit. Grinding the gears. <laughs> but yeah, so... Like, we are a big community, but we are not the big family of metal. Like, always united. That's why the that's my unpopular opinion because a lot of people think they are family or some sort. No, we are a community, and if we want to be friends, we can be. But if we don't know each other, we are just dudes and girls from a community. That's it. Yeah. What do you think about that? Um. <coughs> um. I think that, uh, yes, I think it's more uh, no than yes. Can I say that? I don't yeah, know. You can. Because, like, I'll tell you what, if we didn't have that sense of, I don't think it's a sense of family, but, like, that, I think it. What I think I, it's a strong sense of community. Yeah. More or less. I think it's, like, we're all, we're all in, like, a big neighborhood. Yeah. 
that's what I think it is. And like, because obviously, you know, to have met you and to have met, you know, Matt, Jerry, and fucking Steph, you know, uh, Chris, you know, uh, Dave, you know, everybody, you know, to meet all these people that I, I've gotten to meet over this whole coronavirus fucking pandemic shit. Um, it, it definitely is just a sense of community. You know, you, you basically, it's like, you know, when you're first meeting people, it's, it's always, it's always so exciting because, uh, it's, it's weird for us, especially as metalheads, as, as people who enjoy this genre of music, because not everybody does. And it's very hard to find people who really kind of also enjoy it. Yeah. You know, on a regular ba- you know, on a regular real basis, not just somebody who like can just listen to like, you know, old school, you know, to just listen to like Black Sabbath, you know, once in a while, you know, like really indulges in bands and has like their own little niche of bands that they listen to and you know, like that kind of thing. Uh that's hard to find. Uh the scenes have pretty much uh from what they used to be i feel like they've depleted you know definitely we've lost you know each scene has kind of lost like their own thing the venues have changed rules have changed uh different things obviously uh, after this pandemic's over a lot of things are going to change so yeah um i think maybe one day there will be a sense of i think the word family could be used because i think that eventually you're going to find people that are just like so so far and few between that it almost feels like it um but for right now it's more or less like just the community it's just a lot of people that uh can get together and talk about this shit uh and have like uh you know a tasteful conversations about it like it's a community but if you are good with the others like before we were to like we before we were in the community but now we are friends even if we haven't seen each other yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are friends we are like co-workers in the same podcast and yeah like we are more than a community us yeah. and matt is a friend uh steph is a friend ollie is a friend uh, everyone is a friend now yeah Like, but yeah, we are a community. I have First, 147 new friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I made a lot of friends this year. Don't judge me. <laughs> yeah. Spotify, where's how many friends I made this year? <laughs> Don't just tell me how depressing my music was. <laughs> <laughs> so, heaven, your music was depressive this I year. Swear, I swear to God, I hate it every year. Spotify makes that fucking your top 20 fucking thing. And it's just like, wow, are you okay? Call this hotline. <laughs> 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 it's like, damn it, Spotify. Why are you going to be like that? But, okay. <laughs> but yeah. So do you have a last opinion or something? If you're a metal band and uh, you, oh yeah. If you're a metal band and you start out metal you know, say deathcore, and then you skip over and you become metalcore. Okay, uh, I get it. But then you really skip over and then you become, uh, I don't know, alt rock. Well, Hashtag bring me the horizon. <laughs> well, then listen, I gotta tell you, I, I don't ever want you to, I first of all, I want you to change your name. <laughs> Second of all, um, you are no longer in the conversations of metal. I don't want to hear it. You know, I don't care what you did fucking 10 years ago. What well, you are now, you are now alt rock. I don't want to hear this. If you are talking about Bring Me the Horizon for that band, that's a bit that's a bit tricky. Because yeah, they did a change with alt rock at some point, but they came back with metal with another album this year. They came back with metal and they got the producer of the Doom. Like Doom 2016, 2018. Is it metal though? He, he, he like he, he he screams. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. And like the, the only cool song is King Slayer because uh baby metal's in it and they're fucking awesome. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, but like Yeah, but <laughs> is it metal? In parts, yeah, but is it more metal than ammo? 
Fuck yes, it's more I mean, metal. Yeah, of course, it's more metal than the last freaking three albums they had. But I, dude, I can't. How many times am I gonna sit here and like watch all these places and all these people talk about like you know they're a metal band? They're not a metal band. They're just not a metal band anymore. Not they can, anymore. They, they, but you know what they what? did with this album is they have elements of metal. Yeah, but, but let's... it's not. It's I wouldn't call it metal. I wouldn't include it in a fucking, you know, this is the other thing fucking Revolver did. Um, their fucking album made it into the top 10. And I was like, why? Doesn't even make fucking sense. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we fucking playing around with this fucking game for a band who for the last three years left the scene pretty much entirely, just didn't give a shit. You know, I can understand if you're going to go, you know, count your blessings in deathcore and then skip over to like, um, you know, there is a hell, um, yeah. which I really love. I fucking love that album. I yeah, think it's too. their best album. It, it was the the first album that I've listened of Bring yeah. Horizon, to be honest. I really like that album. And then uh, Separate Turtle yeah. is about as metalcore as I'll go. I I won't go much further than what Sepultura um not Sepultura is that what it's called no it's called uh fuck whatever you all know what I'm talking about it's a fucking little hexagony thing fucking yeah. whatever but uh gold yeah but um that's about as far as I'll go um and then what you know then they just kind of kept going further at what point do you just cut the cord and you say all right you're good you know be on your way uh because you're obviously off doing other things. You know, I just, I, I just, I struggle with that. I struggle with that thing, man. You know, if you leave the scene, then you left the scene. It's fine. But don't, don't hold on to it. Like, go on, go do your thing. Be like Opeth. Own it. Yeah. Be like Michael Argafell. Just walk out there and just fucking, I'm going to string this guitar and fucking blues you to death. Like, yeah, own it. Own it, dude. I have much more respect for you guys if you just fucking live it and you're just like, yep, that's what we are, dude. We're gonna go, we're gonna go off and we're gonna do this shit and then be like, okay, we're fine, whatever. Nice yeah. knowing you, you know. <laughs> uh, honestly, that's how it is. It's just, it's just holding on to a fan base. You know, they did, they wanted to change, but they didn't want to lose their fans. Honestly, it's a I agree with half-ass way to get about it. I agree with you. At some point, uh, like if we take Bring Me the Horizon, for example, I think they would be better. Like if it was another band, that would uh, that would have been better. But like, let's take another band just to put it in the balance. You take Bring Me the Horizon that changed their style for one album. And after that, it came back a little bit more metal-ish. I said metalish. It's not that metal, but yeah, we 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 know what it is. And you take like Nurgle with Behemoth and his side project, Me and That Man. Like it's a bit of the same thing, but with Nurgle, he just like he loves metal, he loves black and death, and he loves folk and country music. And yeah, he did but too. the problem. The, the only problem with that is that, uh, you know, that's a side project. Yeah. You, what your side project is, I could give a fuck. I mean, if you want to go and make folk country music, go right ahead. But, you know, Bring Me the Rise and stayed the same band name and avenued the same fucking things they always did. Like, they always, you know, in it, the same packages, you know, they tried to be on no. the same. It just wasn't, it just wasn't the same. Their, their shit wasn't the same. Like you take another band, uh, recently Attack Attack <laughs> just came back. You know, Attack Attack, the crap core like band, like they are just oh. like another that with their instruments. Another, uh, an, another fucking uh, teenage girl band that I didn't need to bother to know, <laughs> exactly. Like Attack Attack, uh, that was very known for their crap core memes. Because every time someone was there was making a meme about crapcore, 
it was about attack attack and they influenced a lot of persons about that a lot of band a lot of the metalcore band these days they are influenced by the old attack attack and then attack attack disbanded and then they came back this year and like this year couldn't get any fucking worse it was shit but shit i could have fucking told you that like like attack attack like before i I didn't give a shit about that band to be honest but it was just funny with the memes like arms way and the run and the running man memes like if you have saw the meme you you know what it is Uh, i would put it that's a great meme and yeah, they're great it, guys. <laughs> it was fucking great. Like yeah, he's a it, big dude. Let's put it right now. There you go. You got the meme. And then uh, with with Attack of Night, that was the same thing. And then they came back with another song this year, and I was like, "Where's the crap core? Where is the breakdowns? Where is it? I want my breakdowns and my crap core. That's what I yeah. want from fucking attack attack. I don't want this it's electronic. Like on my toes. I, I don't. I, I don't want this only electronic like asking Alexandria stuff. Uh, that's another band that we can talk about. Like ex- asking, <laughs> asking. That that band bullet for my Valentine. What's up with metalcore bands and suddenly deciding that they're trying to be Rock. bigger than the scene? <laughs> this is a fucking dude you pedal to fucking teenagers like they, shut the fuck up I they got they a, got ego problems they want to be they got ego problem they want to be bigger than what they are <laughs> you see the, the, you just see this is the problem with the, this is why vans warp tour failed you know this is what happens <laughs> yeah fucking, have they, they have made they have made <laughs> Mm. <laughs> terrible terrible people <laughs> of course but yeah so people if you have if you are agreeing with us or disagreeing with us uh go in the comments and tell us if we are right or wrong if we if you agree or not uh we would be uh, we would appreciate it so much because yeah uh yeah, we dude. love interacting with you and yeah, yeah. Be as mean as you want. Blast my cheeks, dude. I don't give a fuck. Blast my ass, motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, do you have some shout out, my man? Oh, I I do. Hold on. Give me one fucking second. Uh, I think I have something, but yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. going to uh, shout out. Here, you go first. I have to find uh, shit. <laughs> I haven't prepared anything. Oh, hold on. I got it. I got it. Uh, yeah, I want to shout out uh, this band I've been listening to, uh, Yatra. You know, you talk about atmospheric black metal, baby. Let's go. Their uh, their new album that just came out this year, uh, 2020, All Is Lost, uh, released on Grimoire Records. Um, they are pretty. They're like electric, sludgy. They got. Um, I, I really think it's like, you know, black, heavy black metal elements, dude. Um, hmm. I really like them. Uh, I just started listening to them uh, so far. Uh, they they were a feature uh, at one point in... <clears throat> uh, excuse me. They were a feature at one point in, uh, I think, Disciple Magazine. Uh, they had a column or, you know, somebody fucking wrote about them. But uh, they're pretty good. Uh, check them out. Uh, it's definitely... Not Phil's type of vocals, I'll tell you that right now. But if you're ah. into cerebral rot, you'll like it, baby. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, maybe I would try to listen to it. Uh, I thought that I had a shout out. I'm not sure. Uh, 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 I'm trying. Should, to I, should I take your other? Should I take your your shout out? Oh fuck! 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 <laughs> no! 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 Okay, uh, let, let's go with that. Leprous. <laughs> <laughs> because leprous like <laughs> just one band like that because okay uh because what i like to do when i work at school it's like i put some music when i do my work and i put some heavy music sometimes that i love doing something a little bit more calm and leprous which is like a progressive band from uh norway oh and fun fact uh, he is the brother-in-law of Ishan. The singer is the brother-in-law. 
<laughs> of Ishan, uh, the singer of Emperor, as we know it. And yeah, that's funny. And yeah, uh, that band is fucking good, to be honest. The last album they put out, it was in 2019. It was Pitfalls. It's a fucking good album. If you like some ambient and some progressive stuff, you will like this band. And the song below, like, I I think I've never heard someone got this, this singing, like, fucking from your guts and just, like, put it out. Like, I, I had goosebumps, but a lot of goosebumps. Oh, and the last album of, of Night Flight Orchestra is sick. Uh, maybe it will be on my top. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Mine is gonna. Mine is pretty fucking all over the place. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, like I it. have a lot of, a lot of subgenre and genre in my top. So it's yep. gonna be good. Yeah, so, we have like we have a special guest with us on that episode too. The man, oh, yeah. the myth, the legend. Um, the, you guys the, will. You guys will really like it. I I can't wait for his fucking list. <laughs> That's what yeah, I can't wait. For. I, I can't this, wait. This is hear. gonna be the craziest shit we've ever heard. I cannot wait for that. To be honest, I can't. Yeah, yeah. that will be uh, next week. Yeah, next week's episode. That's next, next week's week. episode. Yeah, because we record that on the seventeenth. So yeah, that would be next week's episode. It's gonna be uh, no. We are recording that. Yeah, on seventeen. Okay, I, I, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Seventeen. No, that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that that's also gonna be the seventeenth? That is probably also going to be our last episode of the year. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, next, this this is second to last episode of the year. Next week we have the last episode of the year. Me and Phil are gonna take two weeks off, basically for the new year and stuff. Kind of just decompress chill get some new ideas ready we have a couple more guests that are gonna come back in january uh when we start getting back up um probably keep a lookout for a couple more uh people in some bands you know kind of like what we did with half we're gonna talk a little bit more with people in the bands um and uh you know talk about some of these albums that came out this year uh, and maybe some shit that's going to end up coming out next year. I think next year is, I, I haven't looked at it, but I know that there are some pretty decent bands that are going to put some stuff out. Uh, Shadow of Intent being one of them. Hmm. And uh, I don't know if Maul has put out anything yet. I think it's this year or it's already out. I don't know. I'm so far behind on my music. Uh, it saddens me. It saddens that's, me greatly. That's ha- that's happening sometimes. But yeah. 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 Thank you for coming. Go Saints. Playoff down, baby. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was good to be back. Phil, it was good to see you. It was uh, fucking good. I'm Evan. And I'm Phil. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next and last episode of the year. Cheers. Podcast. <laughs>